It's springtime, there are lots of things to see in Holland, but we're leaving Amsterdam for a mini cruise. Welcome to Amsterdam, but not windmills and can decide we're having a day tour, yes, an excursion to England. It's a mini cruise, a three day, two night accommodation to have a foretaste how it is to go on a cruise on the FPS. This affords us just a day tour to the city of Newcastle. Here's a complete guide what to expect on this mini cruise from Amsterdam to Newcastle in England. Sharing places, events, and cultures here on my patio, my mundo. Queuing begins at the bus stop at the back of the central station in Amsterdam. And we are now boarding. The boat can carry more than 600 cars. And it has more than 600 cabins as well. Look how spacious the lobby is. The corridors. That's the main lobby. Let's check our room. It's a deck bed. This is the cheapest room and it's discounted even. And very clean. Satisfying. And as we leave the shores of Holland, we can enjoy a drink at this kind bar. And as I expected, we're greeted by the warm smiles of my countrymen. A majority of the crew is from the Philippines. Happy here. Very happy. I leave you to enjoy the view for now. It's windy, but this spring and the view of the sea is a treat, really. I am enjoying this. I love taking boat rides. And Rosé. The views are a real treat. It's getting cold, let's get inside. At the bar. I lost my audio here, but what I wanted to say was that, besides being generous, I mean the service, the cappuccino tastes good, it's one of the best I've tasted. So let's enjoy coffee and the view of the sunset. And then at 6, the band begins. There's a more quiet space at the upper deck, believe it, or, believe it or not, it's one of the biggest Starbucks in the world, and it is on the sea. And it's dinner time, there are two big dinner buffet restaurants. There's also an a la carte, a more posh choice. A taste of different world flavors. Why the certainment? I'm really impressed with what they offer. I always indulge in seafoods, even not when at sea. Let's go back to the bar. There's no TV at the cabin, that's why. And when you're bored, the duty-free can be tempting.
When you're really bored, there are cinemas. Let's go to bed. You know, the seas were rough that night. I didn't expect it, but despite the size of the ship, it moved. Good morning, we're now in England. And let's start the day with a big breakfast. I mean it, it's a big assortment of breakfast. From continental to English. To your cereals. That's so bread. And let's enjoy the changing scenery as we approach the coast of England. Here in Newcastle, this is the mouth of the river, Tyne. It's disembarkation time. First the vehicles, immediately followed by the passengers. There was a football match that day, so we had to wait for the shuttle to the city centre. Fortunately, it was sunny. And this is Newcastle. There's a dedicated video on the things to see and things to do in the city. The experience is basically the same on the return trip. Immigration, queue. Upon docking at Amsterdam, this is the queue, this is the throng of passengers wanting to exit. <laughs> it's a long way. A ship is big, it can carry 600 cars and it has more than 460 cabins. It's really big, considering this number of passengers. And that ends our four days of a cruise, a mini cruise between Amsterdam and Newcastle. I enjoyed it. I would say I'll do it again. It's more of the journey to the destination. Thank you for joining me here at my Barrio My Mundo, and I'd like to see you again as I bring you more about places, events, and cultures. See you on the next video.